Hi everybody, welcome back to another Sup Border video. In this video review, I'm gonna be speaking to you about our thoughts of the new Palm Terek jacket. This is very much a new generation of jackets from Palm. Lightweight, breathable, waterproof, and made from 100% recyclable nylon from post-industry waste. We've reviewed many Palm garments before in the past. They've always come out really well in review, but it's not only us, a lot of you paddlers out there are using Palm as well, and you're always giving us your great feedback about how good their products are as well. So get on the comments below some of the videos, ask some maybe other paddlers what they think of Palm as well. Palm have always been working towards reducing their environmental impact as much as possible. Their packaging is always fantastic. They're moving towards limestone neoprenes with some of their other garments as well. And this is just another leap forward for them putting this new nylon recyclable base material onto a jacket. So let me just give you a quick overview of this jacket. It's lightweight, it's an over the head style jacket. It's made from XP three layer recycled nylon fabric. It's waterproof, breathable, it's got a half length zip, Velcro adjustment, non-slip waistband. It's got wrist gaskets, adjustable cuffs. It's got a nice adjustable roll away hood a very generous zipped front pocket and tunnel hand pockets, which means you can put your hand right through the other side. It's available in two colors, the teal and this one, the citrus. It's a unisex jacket available in many sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, and double XL. And the retail price of this jacket in pounds is 200 pounds. So straight away, you will notice that this jacket is not a cheaper price point jacket. It is a good quality garment. As we just said, it's from Palm, a really well-known, respected brand. But let's go over in a little bit more detail some of those main key points that are worth talking about. So first off, the weight of this jacket. This jacket itself weighs 483 grams, which is a really lightweight jacket. It goes nice and small and compact when you fold it up. So if you're not using it, it's not going to take extra weight. If you're sup touring, if you want to be paddling it with it around your waist, you don't feel like you're paddling with it. It's definitely the jacket to be chucking in your dry bag just in case that weather does turn on you. Now, just because it's lightweight doesn't mean it's not quality. The materials they put into this, and I don't know how they've quite done it with the recyclable based materials, but it makes the jacket very, very soft, very supple. So you've got lightweight, soft, and supple. Therefore, when you're wearing it, when you're paddling it, you do not really feel like you're actually wearing a jacket. Unlike some other jackets that we may have used in the past that maybe have thicker material, this is a new generation material which is so much lighter and so much softer and easier to wear and so much more comfortable to wear whether you're having it against your bare skin or you've got a thin layer underneath it as well. And another thing that I have noticed in the past is it's a quiet jacket to use as well. Some other jackets you'll be finding rustling and moving with your arms as you're paddling. This makes no noise at all. Again, I'm not quite sure how, what it is that makes it be like that, but it must be to do with the soft softness of this recyclable based nylon material. This jacket is of course breathable, which means as you start to sweat or build up heat inside the jacket, that wet wetness will wick away. So you will find this jacket works well on summer days if it's slightly rainy or even on the colder winter days as well. The cut of the jacket is very clear that it's designed for paddlers by paddlers. It's nice and low at the back there. The cuffs are nice and comfortable. As I said, you can easily adjust them to fine tune how you want them tight around your wrist, but there's no restrictive movement there. So it's very, very comfortable again to paddle in. We have all been having a go with this jacket over the last few months. This is a medium from a lady's point of view. Lucy's been using it a lot and she is a 10 to 12. So if you're a 10 to 12, a medium is about right. For me, I'm a medium or a large. I could probably do with a large because I have got extra long arms, which is exceptionally good for paddling, I know. Now we have been playing around with this jacket for quite a long time. We have been able to paddle in lots of different conditions from colder winter paddling to hot summer. So it gives you a good wide spectrum of conditions to paddle it in. And this jacket has worked really well in all conditions. And it definitely is the go-to jacket for most of the Subwater team. I say most of the Subwater team because some of our team do prefer jackets that are a little bit drier around the waist. So what I mean by that is if you do fall in, you will stop a certain amount of water coming up, but not as much as like Palm's other dry waisted jackets, which you have a layer which stops the water coming up inside of the jackets. Having said that, if you do do your jacket up nice and snug, there is actually a really stretchy, grippy layer in here that will bond to any of your waterproof trousers or shorts to stop the water from coming up. But obviously it won't work as efficiently to, as a proper twin waisted jacket like Palm do. And again, with the wrists, you'll find that they have a standard wrist cuff that's Velcro, but inside this, you have another 
wrist cuff which fits nicely to your skin so that stops more water coming up inside your arm. Nice thing about this as well if you're paddling especially if you're kayaking I know it's slightly going off into a different paddle sport but it stops the water running down your arm and going up into the jacket. So this is very much more of a traditional jacket that you're going to be wearing most of the time when you're not falling in, but it will take the occasional dunking. And if you are doing up those waist straps fairly tight and with the cuffs inside, they will stop the water from going in. But if you are, do end up swimming a lot more, you're probably better off going for a more waterproof waisted jacket. All the other features on the jacket are of course top quality. You've got a waterproof YKK zip. You've got more refinement as you can actually put the hood on. You've got internal hood adjustments here that inside the actual hood, very refined. You don't really see how you adjust it, but inside the hood there, you can pull them tight and they're perfect for fine tuning when those horrible rainy days set in. You've got a nice little peak on the hood there. So again, if your head's down, you're paddling in those more miserable conditions, let's say, it will keep the rain off your face, which is really important. But then when it's drier, you can easily roll that hood away to stop it getting in the line of sight, make a nice slim line cut around your neck there. And definitely one of my favorite features on pretty much most of the palm jackets is the really big kangaroo style pouch sort of pocket you have that you can put your hand right through. It's just so nice to keep your hands nice and comfy and out of the way. And if you're having gloves and you've got other bigger paddling garments on your hands, you can easily get your hands in there. And the front zip here with the big pocket is a really big pocket. So you can get a large amount of stuff in there. If you want to carry VHF or have your phone in a dry bag in the front there, you can have all of that in your front pocket. They have actually got drainage holes in the bottom of this large pocket because if your zip is undone, you do fall in the water, your pocket is gonna fill up with water and you have a large amount of water in front of your waist there and those drainage holes will let the water out. The zip is waterproof, but obviously if you're swimming a lot of time in the water, maybe if it's not done up correctly, you will get water in your front pocket. The color's a personal choice, but this citrus one is pretty funky and they do make that nice teal color one as well. It is a really good looking, quick drying piece of equipment that again, is nice and supple to use when you're using it. The price point for that, well obviously you do have to pay top money for that. You're sitting right up there at the top of the price point at 200 pounds. You are gonna pay and buy into an exceptionally good brand with Palm. Palm have always had a really good backing and customer service team. They have a very good repair service on site. And again, like if you buy into a dry suit and you need your inner socks replacing, years and years after the warranty's you know, well gone, they will still allow you to bring your stuff in. You might have to pay to have a zipper replaced or something, but it keeps your palm garment in 100% good condition and it keeps you paddling for years and years and years, which is all we can really ask for top quality equipment. But if you wanna keep your palm gear in good condition, make sure you don't store it wet, you dry it out, you hang it out before you roll it up and store it away, maybe if you're not gonna be using it for a few weeks. You can wash this jacket in a washing machine on a gentle 30 degree wash, or you can wash it by hand. And if you wash it with a specialist waterproof jacket wash, you're not only gonna look after your jacket, but you're gonna renew that waterproofness. So definitely, if you're looking to buy into a good quality jacket that's gonna last you years and years, gives back to the environment, and is very lightweight and easy to paddle with, you definitely have got to be looking at the Palm Terek. It is one of the standout jackets from Palm, and I think a lot more of the Palm equipment is gonna be going like this, which is great to see. I hope you found this review interesting and informative. Please, any questions and comments about Palm stuff, let us know. If you own any Palm equipment, please get your comments below so others can understand how good the Palm equipment really is. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on another Sup Border video real soon.